Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at document clustering and classification using slim models. This is actually a problem that comes up quite a lot when you're dealing with any type of large knowledge base, typically involving a lot of you know large complicated documents. How can you, in an automated way, start doing multifaceted kinds of analysis, identifying key topics, identifying relevant tags, clustering related segments of a document, or organizing them in ways for some type of subsequent retrieval activity. Oftentimes this becomes an activity, just let me summarize this, or let me generate a few bullet points, but we wanna show you a different way to do that. And we're gonna do all of this processing locally, running on a laptop, using multiple slim models in an agent-based architecture. We're gonna show you how easy it is in a few lines of code to do some really, really powerful document clustering kinds of capabilities. So this example is in the example repository. I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes walking through the code and then showing you the output. So for that, I'm gonna flip over into my IDE. Here is the code. First thing to note, we are gonna be pulling from the sample files. So if you haven't done this before, within LLMware, we have a public repository where we keep a bunch of sample files. So we're gonna be drawing one of the contract agreements from that file. We are going to parse that document in memory. It's about a 15 page document. We are going to decompose that PDF into around 65 text chunks. Then we're going to create our agent and we're going to load work into the agent. Now, just for the purpose of the demo running quickly, we're going to pass in the first five contract chunks, but please feel free, you know, as you're experimenting with this, look and slice and dice this in different ways, or just remove the slicing and you can go through all of the 65 contract chunks. We're gonna load three different tools into the agent, topics, tags, and NER. You're gonna see those models in action and what they do. And then for an iterative looping like this, we've loaded the work. When the work gets loaded in the agent, in the agent's memory state, we organize all of that work. It's all indexed. And then there are iteration functions inside the agent that enable us to start stepping through that work really easily. So in this case, just in these three sort of simple lines of code, in effect, we're gonna keep running these three tools, chunk after chunk after chunk of this contract until there isn't any left. And then we're just gonna do two things. We're gonna show uh, the report, which is just what the agent has been gathering and organizing as we've been going through this activity. And then we're gonna look at the activity summary I've commented out the agent response list. That's the full list with all the metadata that's been gathered through this process. Again, I would encourage you as you're working through this example, at some point, take a couple of minutes to really go through that as well. So as I said, this example does take a little bit of time to go through, but let's go ahead and run it. Everything is running locally on your laptop. And as always, the first time that you pull down these models, they will be pulled from our Hugging Face repository. It takes maybe a minute or so. And then going forward, they'll all be cached locally. And it takes just a couple of seconds to start loading those models. So we're off and running. And again, the flow of this, we're gonna be going step by step. We're gonna be running these three major steps on these five different chunks of this contract. If you haven't seen the agent journaling capability before, it works through just step by step so you can actually see the work and the processing. You see the topic analysis was called and the topic that was found for the very first chunk of the contract was agreements. This analysis is a view of the confidence of that output and some of the other choices that the model considered. We then went to move and run the tags analysis you can see some of the relevant tags that were extracted. Again, very, very interesting view of some key named entity information, key relevant information like a key date, and pulling out executive employment agreement, which actually happens to be the overall type of agreement that this is. Then it pulls out some of the NER uh, data, and then it steps through to the next text chunk, and so on and so forth. So we've moved through this. And again, I'd encourage you, you know, you can spend a little time as you work through the example to really look at all of this output, but it essentially is just a loop working through each of these individual text chunks. And then the payoff is after the 56 steps that the agent has worked through, it actually generates this dictionary report for each one of those text chunks of what's been gathered. So the way to read this report zero, this was the zeroth work item, otherwise known as the first contract chunk that we passed into the agreement. And these are the attributes that were gathered, the topics, the tags, the people, and the organization. This was for the first chunk, the second piece of the contract, zeroth indexed on this, and then so on and so forth. And what you can see is we've been able to create some really nice semantic meaning here. The topics do a nice job of capturing some fairly complex concepts and distilling it down to one or two words. 
Again, one of the beauties also of doing this type of generative classification work is that the model is not necessarily constrained to five categories or 10 categories. It can really go and distill down into that one or two topic category words what is really happening in that passage. So this becomes then the starting point of a more complex analysis. We've identified some topics, tags, we've identified some key named entities. This would either be then the basis for further analysis or perhaps a project that we'd be doing in knowledge management or knowledge automation to really work through a large library of documents and start organizing, classifying, and clustering these individual text chunks and finding some meaning out of them programmatically. So we hope that you've enjoyed this example. Any questions, please come join us on Discord. We would encourage you to check out the LLM or repository, especially the Slim Agents section. We've got a whole bunch of examples there and um, they're growing by the day. So thank you everybody. Take care and have a wonderful day.